Hello, welcome back to Kev's Vintage Tractor Repair Channel. In today's episode, we're going to be working on our little Fordson Super Dexter engine. So we're going to be removing the oil strainer, the sump and the oil pump. Also, by a bit of an accident, we're going to be removing the camshaft as well. So I hope you enjoy this episode. I've had to do a bit of a voiceover because the microphone played up again. This channel is sponsored by MRP UK Limited. I hope you enjoy. What we've got here is our oil strainer. Obviously, the, the engine is upside down. So if you can imagine all the oil is sitting at the bottom all around this oil strainer. We've got six little half inch head little nuts. So we're just going to undo those. This strainer is uh, exactly the same as a Massey Ferguson 35 three cylinder, an early one. All right, it has the, the oil strainer basket underneath. This one's not too bad. I have seen a lot worse. That's, this one's fairly clean. So we'll just see if we can scoop anything out, anything good. And there it is, just some thick, old, slimy, dirty gunge in the bottom. So not too bad, seen a lot worse. So what we'll do, we'll just put that to one side. So now we're going to undo all the bolts around the outside of our sump. So they're all half inch bolts or half inch head um, bolts. So around we go, all the way around. When you're taking these off, all right, it is a bit hard when you're sort of laying on the floor and you've got to rest it up in the air. So what I normally do is leave a bolt in each side, get a jack underneath, and then sort of lower it down on the jack. I'm now doing one which is a nut, which are right at the front where the camshaft, where the crankshaft is, which go all the way through to the timing cover. So be a bit careful of those ones, all right, because they're just going into a bit of aluminium. So around we go. So we're just going to get in there and just undo that. So really awkward. And with me moving about, the camshaft fell out. Right, let's just loosen off a bit. Right, that's free on there. And it's free on there. Okay. Try and get a grip of it. Probably easier with two of you. I mean, you can always bring your wife out and give you a hand. There we go, there's the sump off. So what have we got? So we've got the bridging piece, okay, which is attached to the bottom of the timing cover. That's those studs I was saying about where you need to be a little bit careful when you're taking it off. All right, so we've got our oil pump on the front here. There's the pickup, the strainer would have been like that. If you imagine, imagine that. So oil comes through, spinning around, then gets pumped through here into the oilways and the gal galleries inside. Not really, I don't know how much movement we've got. It's not too bad. Eh? Looking at it, I'm 90% sure this has never been a part. Just looking at these lock tabs and things like that, they're sort of things that a lot of people don't replace and are normally bent over two or three times. But looking at it, it seems all seems okay so far. What we'll do to the last little bit is is remove the rope seal carrier from the back here. It's a half inch, normally a spanner as well, depending on what I've done with it. What we're gonna do now is just remove the rope seal. These bolts here, they got really small heads, so you'll notice it more when I take, take them off. But what I'm gonna do is when we start rebuilding this, I'm not gonna put the rope seal back. I'm gonna put a, um, modified lip seal into it. I have done a previous video on it, doing, doing one on the back of an early 135, but I will do it again on this engine here so you can also see what's going on. So what I'll do, let's loosen that off. And we know from looking at the back of this sump on this one, make sure you keep all these separate. All right, I'll, I'll find the a normal bolt 
in a moment. I'll just show you the difference because the last thing you want to do is fit the wrong size on here, put everything back together. And you hear, I'm not going to do my sound effects, a shh noise where one of the bolt heads is rubbing on the back of the flywheel. All right, so the last thing you want to do is all that work for that. So that's the ones you can get. You've got another one underneath here. So I can't quite get my fat fingers in here. These are really awkward when you're putting them back in. And the only reason I sort of say, make sure you put these separate is because I've made the mistake of losing them and putting the wrong ones in. All right, they only come out so far. So you've got six all the way around the outside, and then we've got two long ones, which pinch the whole thing together. People moan about rope seals, but Bundy Bear has done a really good video on fitting one, on fitting rope seals, how to fit them. I've worked on Fords and Majors, they have them. I've got a jar, I'll show you at a later date, where I just keep some soaking, just in case I need them. So what we'll do, just undo these top ones. get it apart. That's what I mean, I don't think this engine has ever been apart in 60 years. There we go. And there's your rope sail, you can see that. That's the carrier, and that's the rope sail I pulled out from inside. That's the bottom one, because obviously our engine is upside down. And there you go, there's the top one, there you go. So that's, your, that's the back of the engine, or Back of the end, that's the rope seal off. There's just a little oil groove in there, but I'll show you that. You'll see that better once I take the crankshaft out. So what I was saying about these bolts, you can see the difference. The one on the left is the thin one, which came off the, the carrier for the rear crank seal. And the one on the right came off the sump. But if you look at the size of the heads, the one for the on the right, which was for the sump, is twice as thick as the one that came off the carrier. That's what I mean. Don't lose the ones on the left, because they're obviously thinner. If not, you'll be finding a bolt grinding the head down to make it fit like I've done in the past, but try and keep it all together. All right, here's the camshaft. I did say we'd have a, a quick look at it. So we'll just give it a, a wipe down. That hasn't got a lot of wear on it at all. I'm quite surprised really for how much is not on there. But here it is, and all it does, that here, here, and here is where it sits in bushes inside the block, but there's no wear on these at all so i'm not worried about the bushes but i will check those out i'm sort of quite taken back for how tidy that is i'm not going to take this sprocket off yet when i'm ready we'll take that off we'll do it together on camera all right and the same thing like i always do i'll mark where it goes so i can clean it all around the back of it so when we put it all together we've got none of this old dirty gunky oil go on back in that nice clean engine. That was another smallish episode all right, on removing the sump, strain of the sump, camshaft, and removing the rear rope sail. So I hope you enjoyed that and stay tuned for more. Please leave some comments at the end.